Hey guys, so you bought our LED headlight kit and you want to know how to wire them in? Today we're going to show you. So when you take out our LED headlights, you'll see that there are two lenses, one for high beam, one for low beam. There's also this ring around the outside. This ring lights up and can be turned either uh, amber or white, depending on your preference. On the back, if you flip it around, you'll see that there is this aluminum heat sink on the back. Uh, these lights produce a fair bit of heat, so this helps remove that heat from the bulb. Makes it last a really long time. Because of the width of this heat sink, if you have the later type of um, headlight housings where they're plastic in the back, the headlight bucket, uh, there will be some slight filing or trimming you'll need to do just for these outer fins here to be able to fit the bulb. If you have the earlier type that have the metal housing, uh, they fit right in no problem. Just a little bit of clearancing, I guess the plastic's a little bit thicker, so that's something to pay attention to. You'll see that with the kit is provided this little extension piece. For the mini, this part here is not necessary. It does include these wires right here, uh, the yellow and the red. Uh, this is to be able to extend the wiring from wherever you want to take uh, the 12 volt source to power the halo ring. So to show you how to wire up our headlights, we've got a battery on the table here with some jumper leads, positive and a negative, and uh, just the headlight exposed on the table here. So. On the plug, there is the main plug, and this plugs directly into your stock harness, just plug and play, and then there are two additional wires you'll see. There's a yellow one and a red one. These wires control the halo ring, which is around the perimeter of the headlight. Now, the yellow wire makes the halo ring amber, and the red wire makes the halo ring uh, white, and I'll show you that in a second. So when you plug in your headlights normally, uh, you'll have low beam and high beam function, the way this is wired is that the one here on the bottom left is the ground circuit and then there is the low beam and the high beam. You don't have to worry about that though, you just plug it right in. And then these two wires here, uh, you just have to supply 12 volts when you want the amber ring to work. The ground circuit for this system is done through the main plug, so you don't need to run an additional ground or anything. So if I hold the ground circuit just on the bottom plug here where it's the ground, I can then use the uh, positive wire here and show you how this works. So uh, when you turn your headlights on and you have low beams, uh, it'll look like this. And when you turn your high beams on, it'll look like this. Uh, you can see that the low beam is these three bulbs here. And the high beam is all four, including this bottom one here. There are two reflective lenses inside the headlights. Uh, and as you can see, they're super bright. Now, the two wires here that control the halo ring, I'll show you what those look like. So if I attach it to the yellow wire, that's the amber halo. And if I attach it to the red wire, that's the white halo. Now, the way you can wire these is pretty much however you choose. So if you want to use the, uh, the amber ring as your indicator light, you simply pull uh, 12 volts off of the source uh, that you're getting your indicator bulb from uh, and you connect it right to this wire. And then when you make your turn signals, it'll flash like this. Uh, if you want to say use your daytime running light cir uh, circuit and attach it to the red wire, uh, you can do that. And then when the car is on but your headlights are not on, you'll have it like this. Uh, you could also connect the red wire to your headlight circuit uh, directly off the main plug here. Uh, and that will mean that when you have your uh, headlights on, you can have max brightness by having both the, the ring and the headlights, uh, which ends up being extremely bright. Uh, these work independently of the main bulb so that if you have your headlights on you can also still have the indicator flash. Uh, really simple, very easy to wire. Just plug it in and then your choice how you want to run these two, uh, what source you want to get them from. But because it's uh, the ground circuit is done by the main plug, uh, it's really simple. You just need to run one wire uh, from whatever source you want. And that's it for wiring up the headlights. Now, if you don't know how to install headlights in a classic mini, we have a video on that, uh, links in the description. And if you're interested in purchasing these lights, just go visit our website, uh, steepstonemotorco.com. They're available there for purchase. And uh, I forget what else I was gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button and stay tuned for our next videos. 
Thanks for watching.